Welcome to my playthrough of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. There's plenty of shrines, secrets, and memories to unlock, so sit back and relax. Thanks for tuning in. Right there. That's where we want to go. Right there. Because that is a location of a, a Fountain of Youth sort of deal. And it's on our way to the uh, uh, Akala Ancient Tech Lab. My name is Brian Saviano, a.k.a. Bricks O'Brien. Using the power of the Majora's Mask, the giant ancient cores, the regular ancient cores, the partridge in the pear tree. We're going to the next main location in Breath of the Wild. Um, well, not main location, but like uh, everything's a main location. But we're going to another area. That uh, is incredibly. I keep saying that. I uh, of all the catchphrases, oh, this is incredibly important, but it is important. So uh, we're going from seven hearts to nine by the end of this episode. So get hyped for that. Uh, looks like this is the open plains area. Just kind of nothing there, which is fine. You know, as much as it may be a bunch of nothing technically, there's still stuff to do. So. As much as you may be like, well, there's, there's, it's boring. It's just a big open field. Well, it's beautiful. So, take it for what you will. Um, Akala Ancient Tack Lab, Frag and Bone, Fang and Bone, only open at night. So, uh, Fang and Bone is the thing that I told you we need to save all the monster parts for. So, this whole time, I'm like, hey, don't sell anything off. That's what it's for. Uh, basically, is a means for you to get some really cool uh, items, especially a cool set of armor. So, we're not going to quite do that right now, because A, it's not nighttime, uh, and B, we're not going to be near there right this second. There's another shrine. Is that the one that was right over here? It was... Oh, it's up on this hill? Okay. Cool. Sure, that's fine. Might as well use up the rest of the Rivali scale just to get it done. Oh, there it is up there. Cool. Okay. Well, that was n entirely useless, but you know, hey, that happens. So, that's the one that we saw from the middle of the spiraling, spiraling, spiral. And there's another stable. Okay. I always forget about some of the stables. Like, I totally forgot that existed. And that actually reminds me of something that I saw on LEGO Ideas. There is a website that you can submit your own um, LEGO set ideas. Uh, the Katasoa Og Shrine is where we're at now. But uh, you can submit your own ideas for it to potentially be approved by LEGO and become an actual LEGO set. So, they did one, not they, but a creator did one of the stables in Breath of the Wild. And it's incredibly cool. I, I can't, I don't have a picture on me right now, and I don't have it pulled up on my computer to show you. But this is the, uh, the apparatus. Ooh. This looks to be something. I've obviously, oh, it's a motion thing. I'm like, ah, I've, I've done it before, I've definitely been here, but I forgot. Um, oh, it's golf. It's pretty much glorified golf. Okay. So, uh, and the motion controls kind of get a little wonky um, once you use them once. So, you have to do a lot of uh, resetting. Resetting of the motion controls. And I guess we just have to cancel out and go back in? Maybe. There we go. All right. So, that's not what I wanted to do. And it's going to go nowhere near the distance, actually. Okay, cancel that. Go back. There we go. So you have to actually cancel out. Okay. That should be hole in one. Mm, 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 mm. Nope. Okay, cool. Well, that's a no. One more time. That's all it's going to take. One more time. That's it. It was just a little bit too much. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. That should do the ticket. There it is. Bing. Fing, fang, foom. Mm, there we go. Oh, we have to wait for it to go in before... Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. That should be good too, right? Oh, second time in a row. Look at that. Flawless. Absolutely. There we go. So now we can exit out of there. That makes sense. Okay. So you have to actually wait for it to end that animation before you continue. So, yeah, someone did a... Um, oh, geez. Go back on there. Um, they did a stable from Breath of the Wild, and all the stables look identical. On the outside, I believe in the inside as well. So you could get, like, a ton of them and have a big display. If you could recreate it all of Hyrule, you'd be a madman. Like, at least the one from Breath of the Wild. That would make you just... Why would you ever do that? But you can do it if you want to. So, 
that uh, that's a Lego Ideas project. Unfortunately, um, Nintendo doesn't currently do anything with Lego. Uh, well, nothing's released. I think they are doing something, but that is a topic for another day. Uh, I think the the long and short of it is that I think they're going to come out with a Lego Nintendo slash Lego Mario license with the announcement slash reveal slash uh, promotion of the uh, Lego or the Nintendo Mario movie coming out in 2021. That's what I think. So that's a stable right there. We don't need to be there right now, though. We have plenty of um, uh, stuff in general. Plenty of arrows now, so that's fine. Um, so if I had to take a guess, that's uh, what would happen is, uh, yeah, we're going to get Nintendo Lego sets with uh, the Mario movie because Lego ha has never had the Nintendo license, but uh, Kinex has had the license previously, and they made sets based on new S or Super Mario Land, uh, Mario Kart Wii, and Mario Kart 7, technically, and then nothing else. And they haven't released a new set. I haven't seen a set on shelves that was about anything new in a very long time. So I think it's going to be uh, Nintendo getting their hands on it uh, soon. Well, soon in the world of actually, you know, toys and stuff being a thing. So down here is a uh, plot twist, a spring of power. So, uh, yeah, great place to redeem our orbs right over here. Uh, I don't know if there is a shrine to accompany this area, but we can go here to redeem our two. You have done well finding this spring. Um, offered Dinrani scale received from the red spirit to the spring of power. I got as Hylia will guide you. Oh. So we can't actually redeem anything? Nope, we can't. Okay, cool. So, my bad. I guess we can't redeem it here. We need to go do this. Can we just be here? What? Oh, we can recall a memory. Oh. Cool. This is a memory from, uh, like, from before. It showed it on the, the picture. Yeah, there we go. Cool. So let's take a look at the memory, then. I'll, uh, I'll show you it without me, because I want to use it in the very end. So, hold on. I come seeking help regarding this power that has been handed down over time. Prayer will awaken my power to seal Ganon away. Or so I've been told all my life. And yet... Grandmother heard them. The voices from the spirit realm. And Mother said her own power would develop within me. But I don't hear... or feel anything. Father has told me time and time again. He always says, Quit wasting your time playing at being a scholar. Curse you. I've spent every day of my life dedicated to praying. I've pleaded to the spirits tied to the ancient gods. And still the holy powers have proven deaf to my devotion. Please, just tell me. What is it? What's wrong with me? So what I'm going to do is show all those at the very end in one video. But there it is right there, uh, ahead of when that video is actually there. It's, it's going it's to be its own thing, showing all the cutscenes. So uh, that actually helps with the captured memories objective that uh, uh, Impa wanted us to do, where we had to go and find at least one of them to uh, complete. So we, we're supposed to go this way to make this whole thing happen. But... Uh, yeah, that didn't happen. That's that's the the tough way of doing things. And if you you know me, uh, this is not the the way I I like to do things. So uh, we kind of low key went down there for nothing. Uh, there is a red dragon over by the area where the mountain is in the uh, top right area of the map that uh, we're supposed to bring down to here, but we haven't gotten anywhere near close to there yet. So that's going to be a little while before we redeem or ab we're able to redeem anything there. So I guess, um, 
yeah, we just we're gonna hold on to this stuff and uh Yeah, cool. Well there's another shrine over there. I'm just gonna go to the top of that mountain. I'm gonna go right here. But I'm gonna speed it up. Be or rather skip it because it's gonna take a while and unless anything interesting happens and yeah. Oh, of course. We don't have a uh a torch. We probably have to light it up just like we did over there. But luckily we have the Majora's Mask. But it is uh, very windy. So I'm assuming we have to go up here to grab that first. And Rivali's Gale is back. So, ooh, and that thing is over there. So that giant cube is now super easy, I think, for us to go to. We're going to definitely do that soon. I don't know if it'll be this episode, but it'll be very soon. So, the time I said to myself, yeah, we don't need the, uh, the, the torch anymore. No, 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 no. We can get rid of that. That's fine, right? Yeah, it's totally, totally fine. Bye, guys. See you later. Um, yeah, well, now not so much. We, uh, we need it. Because we got to get the flame back over to here. And there's no other... Uh, easier way to do it and that looks like a guardian that is just kind of chilling right there that's decomposing and you know what that's fine so this is the other tech lab the akala ancient tech lab and i'm assuming if we walk into here it should be like hey so you gotta light this bad boy up we gotta get this uh liddy so uh here's a robot hi robot i it's and it's uh, ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Hey you, what are you doing here? Hmm, 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 hmm. Well, I'm just here to restore ancient power so I can use it to my own devices. So hey, are you the one called Link? I certainly hope so. So, uh, yeah. Cool. Hey, who are you? You can't talk? Yeah, I can't talk. Sorry about that. I, uh, it's, uh, okay. So yeah. Um, let's see. The wounds your body suffered from a hundred years. Um, prove that you truly are Link. So I guess we got to take everything off to show that we are Link, right? That's it. Hmm. Yeah, the number of scars on your body, just as I remember. So, cool. That's the proof that I am Link, and that's Robbie. So, I met a child. Yes. Hmm, Piara? Yes, Piara got younger. Very much so younger. So I know, right? It's so crazy. Tell me. Uh, yeah, tell me. Yeah, it's all fine. So it's all about the calamity. And, uh, going to go after the glam calamity, the calamity. Yeah, we gotta go and get that blue flame. Pretty much is where we gotta start. So, I'm gonna put that back on. Uh, we're up to three for the mountain climbing. Uh, we could do that now. Uh, yeah, actually. And then, yeah, that. Cool. So, that's a bit more... Well, that... Uh, I don't know if I like that. I'll just go there. Put some... Put some pants on, you know? Pants are great. Alright. Like, shorts are good for the summertime, but not when it's as windy as it is right now. So, let me see. Is there any way that I can easily find a, uh, what's it called? A torch? Or is it in, it must be in here. I guarantee you it's in here somewhere. It usually always is. <laughs> usually it's always inside of here. Somewhere. There it is. Ha ha, there it goes. I knew it. I knew it. Because otherwise, this would almost kind of sort of technically be impossible. Not technically, but it would be pretty much impossible. So, you would have to have a tree branch lit the entire time, and you couldn't even use the whole method with the, uh, you know, what's it called? Like, shooting the arrows and stuff. That just was not going to work. And there's a guardian over there. He can't move, but basically it's a means to uh, test out all your ancient gear that we're going to get eventually. So, there you go. He has... Killer aim, actually. Wow. Wow. Look at that aim, dude. That's through trees and everything. Just, okay, well, he hit a tree by accident. So maybe his aim isn't the best. But it's still there. I went the wrong way. Huh? No, did I? Yep, I did. Okay, cool. So I was supposed to go over here. Huh, okay. Oops. But luckily, we have... Oh, awesome. Um... Well, we can't uh, bring a flame to Mount Olympus over there, so I guess I'm going to go and snooze this off. So I get to use that ability. We'll go inside of here and rest for a little while, which I believe we can still do, even though it's uh, not technically by a campfire here. 
because we can't it's it's a thunderstorm there's nothing we can do so um hey what do you want uh, it seems yeah it has right that's crazy oh kilton that's a whole uh, big thing that's a uh, fang and bone yeah so we got to take a picture of him as a uh, a thing for us to do so let's see can i see the night welcome you staying with us yes i will i'm gonna do a soft bed because i deserve a well welly welly a well night's rest a good night's sleep and that'll actually restore all your health and then give you one extra heart right there is it worth it monetarily no it's absolutely not worth it it is not worth it at all but i just wanted to showcase what it is for the sake of showing what exactly it is so we need to go way over to here so yep that's the right direction okay cool kind of lost my sense of direction there for a half second but we're good so yeah we want to light up all those things too and do the whole thing along the way just making sure yep we're good okay but luckily the rain is passing and do i want to skip until we actually get it done i kind of do because it's just me walking around we have the majora's mask it's not like we're gonna you know encounter any enemies or anything you know, the real challenge was if I did have to encounter enemies, but we're pretty much good. So, yeah, I'll just wait until either something interesting happens or I just get to where we need to go. Hmm. The only issue is you. Uh, yellow swagget? Nope, there's no way to do it. Okay, hold on. Wait, 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 Let's talk about this for a second. Okay. Oh, wait. Where is there a holder near me? Or can I just go around here and evade through the trees? Or is it a clear opening on purpose to make things difficult? Or, yeah, kind of. It's kind of difficult. Okay. But if I... Okay. Hmm. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. How about this? Hide there. Uh, hide right here. Oh, yeah. It's on purpose. Oh, no. I need to make it right there. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I can avoid... I can evade it. Oh, yep. Yep. Hold on. Okay, cool. That's fine. That's fine. He'll get his just desserts. Don't you worry. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'm going to take care of you right now, as a matter of fact. Never mind, I'm not. Okay, great. You're you're a pain in the butt for the last time, buddy. Nope. And done. Take that. Making me waste two fairies on that encounter. Should not have been the case, but whatever. Duh. Come on. That's just unnecessary. Totally unnecessary. Is that a Korok seed? No, it's not. That's even more disappointing. Even more disappointing. But we got the that lamp right there. So at least we didn't have to go, uh, not all the way back, but a, a good portion of the way back to earlier to get that done. So I don't want to say it's impossible, but if you can manage to defeat him before you approach that you know, this whole thing here, and then hope there's not a blood moon, then you're fine. But the real challenge is getting it while you don't have the Majora's Mask on. That's what really is going to be uh, a pain if you don't already have it. So now the research is going to be here. Excellent. Good eye. And check it out. Yeah. Everything is all good. So, uh, gotta go. Cool. So now I believe we can buy some stuff. Hello. Zer, zer, zer. So we can buy uh, a couple things here. One of them being Ancient Arrows. Ancient arrows are incredibly effective against guardians. Uh, the ancient sword, short sword is obviously really good. You have the thing here, but the, the, the greatest thing of all is the ancient bow. The ancient bow lasts forever. Not forever, but a long, long, long time. And it's a straight shot. So there's curvature on your shots when you have a bow. But with this, it's a straight shot. So it may only have 44 damage, but if you're going for like Korok seeds that need exact aim, it it goes straight. Incredibly, incredibly 
accurately and then dips off when it's way far away. So we just need a thousand rupees and then we can get that. So that is the whole point of unlocking that area there. Um, what I can do... Let's see. Um, let's go back to uh, Hateno. Or rather, we'll, we'll go to... What's it? Kakariko. Get what I wanted to get done with Impa and get that champion thing. And then go to Hateno to see if I can upgrade a uh, stasis. So stas between the stasis upgrade, uh, selling off a bunch of stuff. That way I have enough to buy the ancient bow. Uh, that should be enough, just enough resources to get what I want to get done. You can upgrade the remote bomb if you want to, but that's going to be uh, not as useful. The bomb recharges faster, uh, and it is a good majority faster, but stasis is the most important. And then I can finally stop talking about stasis upgraded, because we're actually going to do it. And then even while I'm here, I can use the orbs to upgrade the hearts, and this is just a good trip in general right here. So I'm, I'm excited. Get excited, everyone. Oh, oh, great. I'm sure you're in your seats. You can't wait to see the heart count go from 7 to 9. It's just going to be a revolutionary, revolutionary thing. So, hi, Impa. Still chilling? Still chilling. What's going on? How you doing? How are the kids? So, you get the champion's tunic, which is the tunic that you see Link wear in all the promotional material for Breath of the Wild, including being on the cover and in the cutscenes. So... Uh, we have Revali's power right there, and there's other uh, Divine Beasts as well, so now that becomes our main quest that she has for us. So, just as a reminder, in case we uh, forgot exactly what to do. So, the thing about the Champion's Tunic, as I may have mentioned before, you can see an enemy's life gauge, which is obviously the best type of torso piece you can have, because you can see exactly how much damage you're doing and how much damage is left. So... You do see the bar at the top there, but it's not an accurate number. So if you want to make sure you know how many hits you have left with your Guardian Spear or with whatever new stuff you've crafted, um, there you go. That's that's your means of doing it. I don't know the durability of the ancient swords and whatever that are up in the Akala Tech Lab, but I only know about the bow, and I only care about the bow. So... That's what we're going for, and I'm going to sell off a bunch of stuff here, but now let's get some upgrading. I don't think we need a giant ancient core, but I know we have a lot more cores now, so there's that legendary torch that messed me up the first time. So hey you, uh, I got ancient materials. I want to power up the Sheikah sensor. The Sheikah sensor upgraded allows you to search for specific items, so it's helpful, just not for right now. So we need three ancient cores. Let me just make sure I got three regular, and she doesn't use up an ancient, uh, a giant ancient core. So, let's see here. Uh, yeah, we, we got three exactly. Okay, great. So, ancient materials. Uh, yes, stasis. Cool. And the, the ancient cores aren't really that rare. Like, we're gonna, we're gonna get more. It's not like a, oh, these are incredibly rare. You're just gonna get a couple of them throughout the entire game. They, they respawn. You know, you're going to accumulate more of them, especially considering you have to upgrade the remote bomb and then the Sheikah sensor, all the stuff that's up at the Akala lab. Yeah, you're, you're going to be fine, but we're only, you know, on one Divine Beast of four. So the fact that we got three is good. So Stasis Plus allows me to uh, stop enemies in their tracks, which will come in handy for bigger boss battles. So uh, that'll be fantastic. So, let's sell some stuff off, get out of here. We can uh, upgrade those if we want to, but uh, I'll do that maybe eventually, just for my own sake. But it's by no means a, uh, a required thing for you to do. I also wanted to do that whole thing of the, uh, the 30 pieces of wood that are needed for the guys building the house over there. So we can get a house of our own, but... I have not chopped down any trees at all, so uh, we'll probably do that uh, halfway through the game once we uh, get the second Divine Beast and do some other stuff as well. So, still lots of stuff to do, but it's been a, a pretty good episode so far. Uh, if I think of it, if I can, maybe we can go and do that big block area that's down by the Akala Lab. I think that's kind of easy to get done. 
Now that we have Revali's Gale, well, the only way you can really get there is Revali's Gale, but I think it's it's basically a giant maze, but I want to sell off stuff here first, just so I have more stuff. I came here to sell, 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 sell. All right, so the ingots, where are those? Over here, yes, the ruby, sapphire. Get them out of here. Get this away out of my possession. Gonzo, okay, and just shy of a thousand. Now we're at a thousand. Uh, anything else of value? Not that I'm seeing. Look, the ancient cores, those only get you 200. So just make sure you're careful with how you're spending your money here. So now we'll head back over here. Yeah, I think this is going to be actually, this is a great place to be around here. You, you definitely want to go here, and I'll show you exactly why. Um, there's something that was part of the expansion pass that is... Incredibly important to get. I know, I know, I know. So, I actually had to go back here after doing the shrine that's here because, oh, I forgot to upgrade our stuff. Ah. Uh, oh, well. All right. Well, then when we have 12, we'll actually make a big difference on our hearts and we'll be up to 10. So, I totally forgot. 100,000% forgot. Oops. Um, let me see if I can make it. So we have one and two thirds. So you basically have to aim for right in there. You might think, well, you just jump over there and you're done, right? Nope, not quite. So basically the goal is, oh, you know how you cheese it? You go to the very top and you go along that grid is basically what you want to aim for. Um, you don't go inside the maze itself. <laughs> You go on top. Now, can I actually make it? I think I can with Revali's Gale, even if I use Revali's Gale in that maze, but I think I can make it right here. Um, and if you fail, you just land right back on the, uh, the shore there, and you're going to be fine. But I think there is wind resistance as well. But I think we're good. We're not going to land up top. That's for sure. But... We're definitely going to land on the bottom right there. You have all these guardian things that are guarding here, too. Don't even pay it. Don't even pay attention. Okay? You're good. You're good. Oh, we're good. Cool. I remember trying to get over here without Revali's Gale, and I'm like, how do you do that? That's impossible. But now, yeah, that's what you have to do. Gotta have that. Otherwise, you will not be able to access the Lamai Labyrinth Island. So here we go. So, uh, yeah, you're supposed to, I guess, uh, you... Who have reached this point, proceed onward through the maze and you will receive a reward. Cool. The Trial of the Labyrinth. Side quest. Um. Oh, hello. You. How's it going? Good to see you. Come over here. I have a present for you. See, 1500 health. So you can really see. There's a... There's that. And then obviously, you want to go for that. Grab that. Nope, come on. Come on. Really? Okay. There we go. Do that. And you really want to go for, like, three legs. But after four... If he has two legs, he can still escape. But after that amount... Yeah, he's pretty much just done. You can see how much damage it's doing up top there. So you really get a good feel for what exactly is going on here. Actually, we don't need that. We can just do that. And then he's done So Excellent. And then I believe when you use the uh, ancient stuff to uh, take out the legs, you get even more ancient parts, which is good, too. So you're really optimizing your uh, guardian destruction capabilities by uh, using ancient stuff and uh, just going for it in general. Um, so if we look at the map, right, we go all the way in here, we can see... That there is a maze, and there is a way to get from point A to point B. Now, how exactly we access that area, that's going to be the billion-dollar question here. So, um, we got to go all the way around here. Oh, this is a pain. Wait, hold on. Can we even access it? We can't access it. We cannot access it that way. Nope, it has to be through this side. Um, it's got to be through the bottom right. But I did cheese it the first time, but I don't think I can make it. I don't think it's high enough, man. I just don't think it is. And there's an enemy in there for some reason. But let me try. So if we go down this way, we have to access it through the bottom right. Because you can clearly see on the map 
the exact way to go, right? Let me just try it here. Just try going up. Because I thought I could do it before. Oh, but Oh, so cool. You can climb it? What? Really? I thought that was ancient stuff and you can't climb it. Intr you're going to be annoying. Stop it. Stop it. See how that's super important to have? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. There you go. Okay. I forgot. You can climb. I didn't think you could. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah? Trying to evade my arrows. I see you. I see you. Okay. So, yeah. If you have Revali's Gale, you're pretty much good. You... I mean, you can't access it either way, but... Then you can just go inside of here. Right? Right in there. Right? Close. Oh, it's Kesey, really? Okay. Is it up? No, it's not up. I'll figure it out. Hold on. Oh, wait. Is that it? Oh, that's a chest. That's cool. Diamonde. Silver rupees. Not bad. Not bad. Not too shabby. Could be worse. Could be better. But it could be worse. Um. Yeah. Let's see exactly what I need to do here. Aha. There we go. So right in there. And I believe that is 100,000%. Oh, well, isn't that problematic? Well, not quite yet. Maybe. But maybe not. Will that do it? Nope. How about the... Nope. Okay. Well, maybe these apples. Maybe that'll do it. Maybe I can go the other way. But maybe there's treasure in here. So, sure. I'm willing to risk a bomb arrow to make that happen. But make sure I'm back to regular arrows as well. So, at least we can climb up here. So that's good too. And let's see. Survey says. Survey says. Ooh, a great flame blade. Who cares? Okay, so. Not entirely worth it to go there. But you can if you want to. It's an option. And I'm assuming... This is the actual, legit way to go. Minding all these keys that are around here. Keesy. Whatever they may be called. And they're virtually useless monster parts. Except for uh, dealing with Kilton. But not right now. And yeah, that's it. Cool. That is the entire shrine. The two Kalo shrine. And again, this is one of those that's like, a, oh yeah, that's the actual trial itself. Not within here. I don't think there's ever a time where it's a complicated trial like that, and then it's also something on top of it. I think it's always just one thing beforehand, and then you just walk up, get it done. Maybe there's a better reward in here than a great flame blade. Let's see. That is the Barbarian Helm. Okay, so uh, that reminds me. There are three different labyrinths that are like that all throughout the entire world. And they each give you a piece of barbarian armor, which can be upgraded to do uh, even higher defense. But they also have a uh, attack boost. So there's also a thing here that we need to get done that I need to look up and make sure I know exactly where it is. So hold on. It's right in front of me. Go down here. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, wait. Avoid all of this noise. Use this. Look all around you. Where is it? Where is the thing of which I seek? That's a guardian. That there is lightning and the thunder. 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 Feel the thunder. Ooh, wait. Magnesis might do it, actually. It's around here somewhere. There is a chest along the wall here that you're going to be looking for. And it is hidden amongst these guardians that are kind of alive, kind of not really. Uh, some are, some are not. But, yeah, go down to the very bottom here. If you have the DLC, that is. If you don't have the DLC, I don't think this area is ever even unlocked for you. But, ah, uh, there it is over there. So, as soon as you fall down, kind of go behind you, kind of take a right. And I think I'm going to farm all the guardians in here. Because there are, as you can see, a couple in here. Uh, some of them can move, some of them cannot, but as a part of the expansion pass, something they added in 
was a little thing I'd like to call the Travel Medallion, which allows you to place a marker anywhere that you can stand on the map, and you can teleport back there at any time. So if you find a location that is useful, or a place that you want to go back to to rediscover, uh, that is where you're going to want to do that. Uh, I'm going to use up the rest of this Eagle Bow just because this guy has 500 health. So yeah, all the Guardians that don't move have 500 health. Uh, all the ones that do move have 1,500. So kind of sets a tone there for you. And I'm not sure if uh, if one gets... Uh-oh. Uh, one gets activated, then they all get activated. But uh, we'll find out here in just a second. Nope, they all do not get activated. And there's something else in here too. Interesting. Okay. So maybe this area is unlocked for you, and you're supposed to just get this. The diamond circlet. Ooh, that is incredibly hard to form yourself, because you need to find a diamond and do other circumstances down the line. That's Guardian Resist. That is a great piece of armor to have. That guy is livid. Uh-oh, a lot of them are livid, actually. Okay, let me get a bow equipped. A, um... I'll go for that bow right there. Uh-oh, uh-oh, there's a lot of them. Okay, 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 I understand. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me a minute here. Give me a minute. Okay, maybe this is a bad idea. Maybe that's a bad idea. All right, we're going to get out of here. We're going to go back up to here, and that's where I'm going to call the episode because we are avoiding Guardian Death. We got the Travel Medallion, another Shrine, and the Diamond Circlet, and got the Champion's Tunic. I'd say that's plenty to do in one episode, and we're going to be making our way toward the next Divine Beast in the next episode of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. My name is Brian Saviano, a.k.a. Bricks O'Brien. I want to thank you guys and girls for listening, watching, tuning in. As always, I'll see you again for more Breath of the Wild action incredibly soon. See you later. Bye.